24 in Lewis. To place your deli or carry out orders, call 302-945-0700. Power 1017. Here's your jacked up stories. Um, Power, um, power 1017. All right, one new survey has found that the average person will start transitioning from work mode to weekend mode at 2.52 p.m. today. Oh, I already checked out. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I can tell. Jessica, been checked out. At what time today? <laughs> 5.52 a.m. That's when they check out. That's when our focus shifts from work to weekend plans. Most people at 252, but in our case, already been, been checked out. <laughs> Two-thirds of people say that they haven't really had a great uninterrupted night of sleep since they were a teenager, according mm. to a new study. Goodness. How do you sleep at night? Man, I haven't slept a full night what? for like probably 23 years now. <laughs> <laughs> the worst. Uh, two-thirds of people say they haven't really had a... Oh, no, we already did that one. But yes, uninterrupted since they were a teenager. All right. The average person spent almost three full weeks in the past year cleaning, according to a new survey. Oh. Before the pandemic, we spent an average of five hours and 37 minutes cleaning every week. Once mm-hmm. it started, it went to eight hours and 49 minutes. So we clean more often. Jeez. Dictionary.com. I'm cleaning. Just updated its database. With lots of new words, including two from The Simpsons and one from Friends. The words from The Simpsons are chromulet. I don't really know what that means. And ambiguous. This is from The Simpsons? Yeah, and for Friends, (laughs) it's supposedly. Supposedly. Supposedly? Yeah, instead of supposedly. Yeah. Supposedly. With a B? Supposedly. That's a word now in the dictionary. Okay. Okay. If you care. 61% of men say they've nicked or cut their junk while grooming. Oh, my gosh. While they're manscaping. Oh okay. Gosh. And because of that, the majority of them say they're scared of hurting themselves every time they shave. Now, I don't know. <laughs> I, I gotta be careful. What? Go ahead. I gotta be careful. Okay. When a man manscapes, right? Does he take care of everything? What do you mean, like, um, like chest? Okay, you can include chest, keep stomach. Going. Keep going. Face, hair. Oh, you mean like down below? <laughs> when you manscape, no, that it, it, well, and it, do you get nicked down there? No, well, that, that they say sixty-one percent. Sixty-one percent. All right, yeah. so you take care of like. Not you in particular, but like men, when they manscape, they take it all off. Not necessarily off, but like, you know. What? (laughs) (laughs) Just the trim. Right? Well, you're like, uh, you know, you know. No, I don't know. I want to know. Well. I want to know. No, Chadwick, right? (laughs) No, he doesn't manscape. No, he does. Yeah. He does. I'm just wondering like what everyone does. For you to get nicked, you you're like really doing something. We well, got to use the right kind of. You do, you do. You know, right? Men like to be groomed for their women. Sixty-one percent. Mm-hmm. So get nicked. I'm not part of that sixty-one percent. Just FYI, I never got nicked. It sounds painful. Yes, uh, a couple in oh. Ukraine that kept breaking up and getting back together decided to try to fix a relationship. By handcuffing themselves together for three months because they didn't want to break up no more. They're like, you know what? We're going to handcuff ourselves and we're going to put the key somewhere that we can't open it for three months. They're about halfway through it and it seems like they're helping. It's helping. It's helping? Yeah. What? Now, someone told me, I I forget who, but someone told me that they got a box. And I don't know, maybe you can get it off Amazon or whatever. But someone got a box. Mm-hmm. Where when they punish her, talking about you know getting rid of the key for three months to the handcuffs, they got a box, and when they punish their kids, they put their cell phone in the box. Oh, and the box, they schedule it to open for a certain amount of time, so they don't give in to give the phone back, or the kids can't go sneak it. So if they set so it for a timer. you're losing your your cell phone for two days, mm-hmm. okay. So they put the box, the cell phone in the box. 
And it won't open. Until and the it time will not that. open. Like they will not open for two days. I've never seen it. Yeah. Can we look into that? Genius. Lockbox. Genius. It, there, there's no key. There's no. It's kind of like a safe, but it has a timer kind correct. of thing on it. Right. Okay. Yeah. And and once you put it in there, you can't open you it. You cannot open it. So not even if you wanted to. So the parents can't get the cell phone out and the kids can't go sneak it or crack the box. Or wow. You said it's on Amazon? I don't know if it's on Amazon or somewhere, but maybe it okay. is. I would love to find out about that box. I need it. You do? Uh, yeah, I would love to have it. Just even if it's just for lofts. And like, you know? a, like a threat? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Lockbox. I'll order it. Lockbox that you can't open. So I wonder if this couple, they put the key to the handcuffs in the thing. Phone lockbox. Yep. Let's see. A guy stole a pack of cigars from a convenience store on uh, in Tennessee on Tuesday night. The owner chased him down, had a gun, took back the cigars, plus the guy's phone and debit card. Cops got involved. The store owner was arrested for aggravated robbery, and the other guy was cited for theft. Oh, good. Because he took his uh, debit card and his phone. Cops in Washington State raided a guy's house looking for um, some catalytic converters. He'd stolen off cars. Yeah, because you can turn that into the scrapyard. Yeah, well, they found a massive 400 pound stolen playground slide that attached to his kid's bunk bed. Oh, snap. It went missing from the park in December after someone oh. sawed it off. God. Of the piece of playground equipment. No. He's facing charges and possession of stolen property. Now, I'm not saying back in the day when I was way, 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 way back. <laughs> I'm not saying that I had any street signs. I'm not going to say that. But, but what? That is some funny ish. <laughs> I'm not going to say I've ever taken oh any street signs God. that were fallen or any kind of cones in the road. Right, right, right. I'm not right. saying no, that. No, but no. But just for no, the bit, that is kind no, of funny when you have no. a big stop sign. <laughs> or something like that. Or, you know, one of them big orange barrels. Right. Yeah. Right. Or even like a shopping cart. I'm not saying it any of that. It just so happened. Yeah. To show up there. This guy had a, 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 a stolen playground slide attached to his kid's bunk bed. Oh, my gosh. Police in, <laughs> Police in Germany saw recently uh, solved the cold case thanks to a suspicious bite of sausage. Yes, nine years ago, a burglar took a bite from a sausage, and the DNA from the bite just matched DNA from a guy of an unrelated crime in France. Oh, my God. But the statute of limitations yeah. ran out, so he probably won't face any charges for burglary. But that's kind of crazy. Yeah, it is. A new hot pickup spot right now is the vaccine line. Really? Single people okay. of all ages are using it as a chance to hunt for dates. Hey, look, I'm single. I want to go holler at somebody. Where do you go? Somebody who the has a vaccine. vaccine Somebody's got a vaccine. I can to go out with them. Don't have to worry you about a mingle. mask. You can mingle. Okay. That's what people are saying nowadays. One woman tweeted, both my 70-something mom and relative got ass out on a date during the vaccine. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm telling you, people are ready. This summer is going to be wild. Oh, yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> Here are a few good news stories making the rounds. 16-year-old in Florida got certified in CPR and then saved his friend's life the next day. Oh, wow. Imagine that. A survey of seniors found learning to use things like Zoom has been a huge silver lining in the pandemic. It has definitely like pushed okay. like new um, technology forward like at lightning speed. A new poll found that most teachers are just as passionate about their job as they are about the COVID or before the COVID hit. Mm. Okay. So shout out to all the teachers. Don't also, fantastic. if you want to ask your boss if you can leave early, yeah, let's be realistic about it. Here's some tips. All be right. professional. Okay. Even if you're friends, mm -hmm. read the room. Don't ask at a bad time. Find someone to cover for you if necessary. Before you leave, give them an update. Let them know you're on top of things, even though you're going to leave, leave early. early. You can... Like, give them an update. Yeah. And let them feel comfortable that you're going. I remember back back in the day. Well, I've heard. I'm not saying anybody worked here. Or worked for me. But people like to tell when they're leaving early. Instead of ask if they can. They'd oh, be like, oh, oh. oh, I'm leaving on the... Uh, like, huh? Say what? 
Oh, like they're packing up and saying, yeah. no, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. How oh. go? Oh, are you? I have an appointment. That's probably not a good move. So don't do it like that. Don't tell. Mm. Who did that? Do you have? Oh, you said not here. Do you have time for me to list? You said no. <laughs> <laughs> no way. No, 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 not not here, not here. It is the Bill and Jessica show with a chain. I like this song a lot. Chain smokers, Halsey is close.